he could barely keep his eyes open and he was seemingly close to the point of no return. All right, hey everybody, we came here for two mangy puppies, but then that turned into an emergency rescue of this little boy. Two people supposedly found him and brought him to the shelter in such horrible condition. So I immediately said, yes, we take him and rushed him to our vet to try to save his life. It was like 1.8 pounds. He probably should have been four to five pounds at least. We just classified him as a 12 because of his emaciated body. He's like, oh. So we are with uh, little Stuart. Um, got him out of a regular bet, and uh, pretty obvious that his blood work uh, was really low. Um, he needs an immediate transfusion, so uh, we are uh, just arriving at uh, ER vet so we can get him in. It was touch and go for the first 24 to 48 hours. Boy. He was pretty out of it and wasn't too conscious, kind of in and out. This is our Little Stuart boy, he's fighting for his life. He uh, has come out of his transfusion uh, pretty well. So we have special thanks to uh, the vet staff for meticulously pulling off the ticks from all over his uh, little body. Oh, come here, bud. It's okay, buddy. So he's still a little weak, so we're gonna do everything we can to save this little boy. He was about five days after that. Over the course of time, you know, he was able to stand up that's when he went to Susan's house that wanted to help and foster him. When I first got him, he was sleeping a lot. Still. You could tell that he was really trying to recover from all that trauma. But it was probably four or five days later before he really started to act like a puppy. He really started running around and started playing. But the funny thing about him was he had this one bark. It was always like, Two quick barks together. <laughs> and he still does it today. <laughs> My brother came to visit, and Stuart I laid on his chest, and then Shane said, I need to adopt him. It was just a good connection. I knew at that point that I was about to take him home. He's included in everything that we do. We're in the music industry, so he's always in the car with me going somewhere. Sean, you ready to go? Austin is very dog friendly. But we walk around every day. All of the different stores have dog treats. He goes in there, they all know his name. It's very popular. Basically, his backyard, I go to the back door, and the dog park was right there for him. And I work from home too, so he was at the dog park basically all hours of the day. He has a girlfriend there named Blakely. He just has a bunch of dog friends and he just runs around and we, we make a couple of laps around the domain. Seeing what he is now and, and being a part of that, you always hear how here rewarding it is to adopt sheltered up animal, and it is. He is very happy and very spoiled. He's very deserving of that. Hey, Stuart. Like, comment, and subscribe.